Hey guys, alright, in this video I'm going to go through a few different things, so it's going to be a combination of all sorts of things. Um, just show you this, like, I put, uh, hang on, where are we? I put a kettle out here in the man cave, got that new fridge over there, it's got the kettle, tea, coffee, sugar, uh, grey cups, grey mat, just to match. I'm wearing this here, ridiculously huge jacket, because it is freezing outside. So, um, I had the heater on in here, but I'm going to be going outside in a minute and I'm going to show you something else that I did, that I whacked together. Um, but yeah, it's about, I don't know, two degrees outside, maybe three if I'm lucky, I don't know. But it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty cold outside. So, I'm growing this, I don't know, what do you think, is it working for me? No. One minute I'm told... <laughs> I look dirty, the next minute I'm told I should look a little younger with it. I don't understand how you look younger with a freaking beard. But I'm doing it to keep somebody else happy, not me. I really don't like it. So, uh, is that there? I'm just going to get my milk. And here we go. But anyway, uh, let's see. Tastes alright? Mmm. Is that eight? Is that eight? Okay, uh, we'll move on the outside. I'll show you something I've put up and move into some other sh stuff that I've I've done or I've got to do over the next couple of days off. Even though I took a week off work, uh, today's Thursday and I have today and tomorrow off into the weekend. So I thought I'd use that time to keep on doing more stuff. Notice I never stop. Things just keep on going. I just keep on doing more stuff. <laughs> Okay, what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm actually in my carport where I get my cars, and a lot of the time when I'm washing the cars or um, polishing them, whatever, music's on in the backyard, but that's all the way out there. So what I would rather have is a couple of speakers in here, uh, just small ones, just so I can hear some music or, you know, while I'm doing some work to the cars or whatever. So I've got my speaker cables, and as I said, just little ones, just these little extra speakers that I have. And what I'm going to do, uh, climb up, they should be able to just sit up there without having to bolt them in or anything like that. But first things first, I've got to run the cable. That's it, they're just sitting up there. I'll, I'll fix up the leads uh, when I'm done. The other one's there. And that's just a light. It gives me light um, at night, pretty much. Okay, well, the sun may be out, but it's still bloody cold as. I'm just going to swing over to, to this before I wire the rest of that up. 
I'm going to show you a greenhouse that I put in. It's not very big. I've just got a few things in there that um, is growing and they're actually taken off and they're going really well. Okay, let's have a look inside. Okay, I only put this thing up uh, a couple of weeks ago, but I'm gonna have to separate this because idiot me don't realize how big they get. That's cauliflower. Uh, it's going really well. Everything's just going really well in here. Uh, down here we've got mint. The mint's going, the mint's going a little berserk. Um, I actually found that just growing in the ground. I didn't even buy it. It was just a, a little tiny piece, and I slammed it in dirt. And look at it now. And this is only over a space of about one to two months. Swing over to this side. I've got brown onions growing. They're going well. They have to be separated too because that gets big. And I got not a lot of people like this, but I like broccoli. And I got broccoli going well down there. And in there, it won't grow yet, but I've got tomatoes in there. But what obviously when it hits spring, they'll start shooting up. Um, also put in a, that's the connection down here. And all the way up, it's a watering system. So basically with these little duvalakis here, it just sprays out water and this whole thing in here completely gets covered. And I only have to do it once a week because all this mists up, I shouldn't do that because water will fall down and it constantly is watering in here, you know, as the day goes on. So I'm pretty happy with, with this anyway. Just thought I'd show you. Okay, now what I'm gonna do with the cables here, normally what I would do is run it that away run it across the house and drop it down to the stereo. But I've got about four, four or five different cables already running across there, so I think that might be too much. So what I'm gonna do instead is I'll run it directly across this beam here, and there's a, a beam that goes straight across to where the stereo is, so I'll just hammer it in along the back side of that, back side of that, and drop it down to where I've still gotta go and get it, but uh, the switcher box. So let's get that started. Jump! Jump! Jump.
all right, now the next step, uh, basically it's got to go down and I'll go get that uh, switcher box. All right, let's head on down to the uh, electronic store. Let's go get that um, thingy. Going on the right lane. Yeah. Ah, um, oh, shut up. What are we getting? We're we getting the. Well, it is frustrating. I'm, I'm up to mid, uh, and we don't want to be giving it to the truckies, and truckies jump on the phone. And you know the number? 1692. I must admit, it is damn frustrating when you're driving through one of the tunnels and there are three trucks banned across each of them. Yeah, we're off to go and get the speaker switcher box. Let's hope this camera doesn't fly away. But uh, yeah, be there in a minute. Go grab it. I'm gonna pop into work for a minute, and then we'll be back to put those uh, put the speakers up. Bob, maybe if I have the camera down there, it won't fly away so much. Shit. Right, and we're off. Flying down the road. The place I'm going to is called uh, J Car. I don't know if I've taken you there before, but that's where we're going. Uh, it's only like two minutes around the corner. There goes my phone. It's only like two minutes around the corner, which is good. So, yeah. See what happens next. Okay, been down there, just got it. Uh, it's more than I need. It's a four way splitter or switcher box. I only need really a, a two, um, but they don't come in twos, they only come in fours. So, whatever, done. Oh God, this place, it's so tight for parking, I swear to Christ. But anyway, apart from that, done, out of here. I've already popped into work, so time's, God, I've been gone for bloody about an hour and a half and I should've been gone for 10 minutes. Um, oh great, I'm gonna have a head on here. Eh? What's this guy doing? All right. All right, so get out of here, get home, and wire that up and Make sure it'll all work. Hope to Christ it works. Uh, another smash, another smash. Maybe not. All right, let's continue when we get home. I'll tell you something, I know it's a good idea, but it's it can be a little annoying. These plugs, only the Samsung stuff have it, where you've got to use those kind of plugs. So I've got to actually now cut, where are we? cut this so I can plug it in because I only need obviously only about that much and then continue the cable on just so I can run it through that switcher all right let's take this out of its box no doubt it'll come with instructions where I mean really a blind monkey could figure figure out how it goes together <laughs> I had these instructions I didn't think there was gonna be it looked like there wasn't gonna be hoo ha all right, this, that is all that it is. Nothing really. Your inputs and outputs at the back. All right, so obviously you can pick one, or say A or B, or you can just pick one, two, three, four. Have the whole lot running. But either way, I'll split this cable and uh, we'll get this, we'll get this thing wired up. All right, well, as you can see, we're all plugged in. So I've got my usual, uh, what have I got? Four out the back here, which, yeah, because what, what there is, you've got your left and right. And I've got two just piggybacking off um, the other two. And then you've got, say, A and B. So then your B would be for the ones that I've got right over there. And I had to extend one of these leads just so it would um, reach in here. But let's turn it on and let's see if we get some sound. You can see how high up it is. Uh, I know I've got a bit of a mess there with leads. I'll clean them up. Just make sure things are going to work. Now I've selected to B. Uh, B is what all these speakers are doing. So as long as I hear them first. Alright, got that. That's the sub going. Uh, yeah, those ones out there. And I can hear them. Alright, I can hear them. The things, they don't sound fantastic, but they're good enough because, you know, just when I'm doing the cars, whatever, they're good enough for just out here. So 
so um, I've got some cables just to, to tie up, a bit of cable management, apart from that, fantastic, all works, I'm happy. Okay, there was another reason why I put them up, <coughs> the obvious reasons of working on the cars and all that sort of thing, plus, when, if you look at my previous video, when I did the garage, which is in there, I redid the concrete. Now, that little section I had left over, I had to buy more paint just for the section the size of a fridge. I've ended up with a heap of paint left over. So I thought, what can I use it for? Let's do this. So, I'm just going to sweep this up, give it a bit of a clean up, and go get, to, I'm going to need a bit of extra paint. Uh, but I decided, I'm going to do this. So let's do this. All right, time to get cracking on this. Um, see, so far, we're ready. I already edged in, done the edging, so now it's just time to use the roll on the stick. Let's fill in the, the middle bits, all the in bits. Let's go. See, I can't put the camera down that end. I need another tin of paint anyway. I've actually run out. Uh, and I can't put this camera back any further because we're right near the roller door. This carport actually houses two cars. Um, and there's still space in the front, in the front and the back. But uh, so far, it looks a million times better as far as I'm concerned. Uh, but I'll show you at the end when I've actually completed. There's not much more to go. But um, it's obviously going to need a second coat. Uh, yeah. But... Let's see what happens when it's completed. Okay, here's something I should have probably checked before I started painting. Down that driveway, carport is the only way I've got in. Now, normally I can get in the front door because we have a touch pad. That doesn't help with this. I have no idea how I'm going to get in the bloody house unless I wait for that to freaking dry, which is going to take God knows how long. I can't believe I've done this. Okay, well, unfortunately, the weather uh, decided to turn against me. It did start to rain when I'd finished. I did manage to get in the house. Unfortunately, I had to run across the paint here, which means my shoes ended up with paint on it. I've got to do a second coat anyway. Um, but yeah, the rain hit this, which will definitely require a second coat. But I'll give you a look. I did end up going all the way down the other end. Just 
holding the camera out. So there you go. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much that's been my day today. I got cracking about, I don't know, 5.30 this morning when I started doing stuff. Um, you know, I'm gonna put this out there, anyone who's watching, um, if you ever think that there's not a lot to do around your own home or whatever, look at the stuff that I do. It never ends, it's, it's always an ongoing thing. So you always have something to do if you're willing to do it and if you wanna do it. Um, I've always, always done stuff to this house for the last 15 or so years. Uh, never stopped it and I enjoy it and you, you see the benefits as time goes on. But um, anyway, that's enough for this video. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye guys.